I am, yes, this is me. So I am on the IP stewards team. I'm the JS IPFS maintainer and the JS Loop P2P maintainer. Um, yes, I'm gonna do a very quick demo, very, very quick demo uh, of the web transport transport. Um, so what is it? So Martin's kind of gone through it all already. Uh, HTTP3 is the new hotness. Uh, quick is a UDP based transport. It has a whole bunch of very interesting properties like, uh, you know, not being as slow as TCP and, it's a, it's a nice, it's a reliable transport built on top of UDP. Um, it comes with built-in encryption and multiplexing, which means that we don't have to do that kind of stuff at the application level, which is very, very interesting. Um, where is it? Well, it's not everywhere yet. Uh, so notably, it's in Chrome. Uh, I don't think it's in Firefox yet. Is it in Firefox yet? I don't think it's in Firefox yet. Just Chrome. Um, but the, the nice thing about uh, web transport is, so, so we have these two new, new transports. Web transport is one, web RTC is the other. Um, they both have trade-offs. Um, WebRTC, for example, is not available in worker threads, so you can only use it on the UI thread, um, which means it could negatively impact the performance of your application because you don't want to get in the way of scrolling and, and, and other stuff. Web Transport works in worker threads, so you can, you can palm off all the heavy CPU stuff to a background process, so it's a very exciting transport. Um, what do we want it? We want it right now. Now, we have these, these are, these are like real problems that need solving. Um, I, I think actually Martin like kind of undersells it a little bit. Like it is an incredibly exciting thing. Like this, this dream that we can, from the browser, talk directly to this network of distributed peers um, is wonderful until you actually start trying to do it. And you're like, oh, I can't actually dial half of these things. <laughs> Whereas Web Transport enables this um, without, like so like Web Sockets do as well, but there's an awful lot of like maintaining that you have to do with it. Uh, there's a lot of accountancy. Uh, Web Transport does away with all of that. It's super exciting. So massive thanks to, to Marco, uh, who's one of the developers. He was in Steve's um, Steve's talk. Uh, he's you know he's a Go developer. He's helped on Rust as well, and now he's he's contributed this to to JS to P2P. So massive thanks. He can't be here uh, due to the you know pandemic horribleness. He's he's holed up in a hotel room, uh, staring at test results. I think desperate to leave. Um, so anyway, massive thanks to Marco. Quick demo. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run. I'm going to run the server. And I have. I have in this other window. I have the uh, the demo running. And so there's a, just a text box that I can connect to. Um, so I start this up. And uh, yeah. So I get this massive multi adder. So what is this? So if we have a look at it, it's it's just standard multi adder. So you've got the IP address that we're listening on. It's a UDP transport. There's a port. Quick web transport and then cert hashes. So we have two cert hashes. Um, this is because you can only have a certificate that lasts for a maximum of 14 days. So then you have two two certificates so that you can use the other one when the first one expires. And this is on the timer, so I'm just going to get that again. So okay, so we generated our certificates. Going to go into the browser and connect. Holy wow! Look at that. I've connected. I mean, this is, this is groundbreaking stuff. Um, so the one thing I'm not going to do is click the fetch button, because if you noticed in the Go, in the, in the Go code, it's actually starting a little P2P node rather than a Kubo node. But you have to take my word for it. So now we have a working, a working little P2P transport. I was just trying to write a quick echo server um, so that I could just send some bytes backwards and forwards. But my Go foo is not strong enough. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to kill the Go uh, process. And then here, we're going we're gonna to notice that we should go back to the, the please connect screen. So it takes a little bit of time, because this is a UDP transport. So you don't know that the result is going away. But there you go. We're back to the connect. So it's noticed. <laughs> and now we start seeing browser errors, which is exactly what we wanted. OK, fantastic. That's it. Thank you very much. And thanks to Marco.